Hi, I'm John Holloway with Holloway Travel Outfitters and PackingLight.com here today to show you how to pack a suit. If you've watched our other videos, and we encourage you to, we have a short and long version on how to pack light. In those videos, you'll see us pack a 21-inch carry-on with an amazing amount of clothes, weeks of clothes, into a small bag like this. In fact, up to 16 garments in a bundle just like this. So really nice, neat, tight bundle that we put on the bed, take it out, hang it up. Okay, you can put your business shirts in there. You can put, uh, you know, your nice Oxford shirts, um, the, the slacks, all in this nice, neat, wrinkle resistant method that fits a lot of clothes into a small bag. Now, what about the suit, however? So what we like to do is have the bundle under here with our two pairs of shoes plus the one you wear on the plane to make at least three pairs of shoes. We have our bundle in here. We have our organizer um, that will carry the underwear and socks, uh, ties, scarves, um, so you can dress up all the black and so on into your suitcase. So that fits in here and we got a nice flat surface in which to finish our packing and put the suit in and close it up and head to the airport. We're going to leave this out of the picture. Uh, we're going to leave it out of the bag. It's a one pound garment, bag, uh, garment fixture or garment sleeve that you'll find in a lot of luggage these days. Um, it takes up a little bit of room, as you can see. It's about an inch or two of padding and material and so on. We really don't believe you need this, and we're going to have you try our method. Um, and you'll see for yourself, uh, packing the right kind of materials of uh, woolens, worsted wools into the, the business suits that most of us have. And we're going to leave that garment fixture at home uh, and probably saves ourselves a little bit of money as well. So, here's our carry-on. This is a very, very simple method. We're going to show you two types of... Uh, of, of methods to pack a suit. This is the first way we like to do it um, that might work a little better into a larger suitcase and then we're going to show you how to do a second way to pack a suit and that you can put the suit actually into one small little square and fold it into a tote. So let's stay with this. What we try to do is have the collar up against one end, the sleeves of the jacket come across the front, okay? So if you can see this, you'll see that we stretch the shoulders out and fit it in here nice and neat and tidy with the buttons. Of course, in our method, we like to button zip everything to its fullest. So it's, it's come across with the sleeves across the front. And now, with the pants, with the legs together, using the length of the suitcase, because it's long and narrow, we put the waistband of the pant across the jacket that is laying on the suitcase here. Okay? What we try to do here is really have the jacket cushion the pants, and the pants uh, will help cushion this jacket when I fold it up and over, taking the tail and the sleeves, and gently folding the jacket up over the, the pants. Okay? And you'll find, even for the big guys, all the way up to about a size 46 suit jacket, that you can fit them into a carry-on, a 22-inch carry-on. So, you can see, if you're a little neater about it with a hand comb, get any kind of creases that may exist, and go, so the jacket comes up over the pants, and now the pants are coming up over the jacket. You'll see what a nice, neat, tidy little bundle that is. If you have to, you can even take this off and see for yourself that the bundle maintains its shape. Fold it back on here, and then we promptly uh, cinch the, uh, the bundle into the bag, zip it up, and be on our way. That's choice number one on how to pack a suit. All right, here's a, the second way we can fold a suit into a suitcase without using those garment bags and fixtures and so on. It's a real easy method. It works in a carry-on bag, check bag. Works especially effective into a little rolling tote bag or a rolling briefcase when you're doing that overnight or two-day business trip. Okay? What we do, we go inside out with a jacket. I kind of put my shoulders on my hands here like this. Fold it in half on that seam that's on the back and lay it out on the bed or the table. Take those pants with the legs together and go across the bottom of the jacket here. The jacket will come up and over the pants. Those pants help cushioning right there on this roll. The pants will now, pant legs are going to come up and over the jacket. Again, if it's a little too long, we want to gently create rolls, no creases. Creases are what create wrinkles. And we're trying to eliminate that. You got a business meeting at 8 in the morning, you want to be able to pack a suit, 
take it out of the suitcase and I have to iron it, put it on and get right to your meeting. And this is what we're going to do. Look at, I formed a nice neat square and with a rolling briefcase or a rolling tote, many of them anymore will allow you room in the front for, you know, your, your notebook computer, or your uh, books and your carry-on materials. And then there's a back compartment here in which you can fold a change of clothes or a suit or what have you. So a nice neat bundle. See the rolled effect here? We're not going to have to worry about wrinkles in these worsted wools and woolens and blends and these jackets that we purchase at the fine uh, men's and women's clothing stores. Fits in perfect in this little 16 inch uh, rolling tote and in the some of the nicer totes, we really like the idea of having a cinch strap so the clothes don't wrinkle. Clothes that are shifting are going to wrinkle. This has no way to shift, and you're going to end up, and we'll pull this out of your bag and wear it the next day. How to pack a suit by packinglight.com. Thanks for coming to us.